Hello, I'm Chris Williams. Welcome to my 198th video blog on YouTube. It's still just about Tuesday, 5th of March 2010. I'm very close to filming this uh, just after midnight. But hey, welcome to my video blog. You can be my uh, Twitter friend at ChrisAlf W, and you can find me on Facebook if you type in Mr. ChrisAlf 2004, the prefix I use on these YouTube videos, of course. And you can check out uh, the whole catalogue of my videos at musingsofchriswilliams.blogspot.com And you can see my written blogs on other topics as well. I blog about football, politics, motor racing, astronomy, and uh, in general anything that you want me to talk about. My, like most people, my blogs are guided by what is in the news and any uh, thing that's happening culturally at the time that I am doing the videos. But... Uh, Join me after the break, I've been in certain breaks in my recent <laughs> videos, you'll see why in a moment. But uh, join me after the break, and I will talk about uh, something that's been confusing me. The Easter Bunny, Easter Eggs, and Jesus. And then towards the end of the video, I'll be talking about digital television with Wales. In around about half an hour's time, is about to completely finish digital switchover with the analogue signal here in kind of being switched off completely. So uh, stick with me after the break. So yes, the uh, Easter Bunny, nothing to do with Jesus, Easter Eggs, nothing to do with Jesus, and uh, Jesus, nothing to do with Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, but uh, um, how did Jesus escape from the tomb following his resurrection? Uh, because the biblical story says that there's a big stone in the way of his tomb. And someone moved the stone in the night for him to escape. I've been thinking, uh, what's Easter eggs got to do with Easter? Well, you might want to check this out on something like Wikipedia or something. But um, might it be that the Easter egg represents the gigantic boulder that was in the way of Jesus' tomb? Sounds logical, I think. So, I... Uh, I We'll on the assumption that that is what Easter eggs are about and where they have come from. It was in the news today that apparently Easter eggs are good for you. I've been eating a load of chocolate today. I love Cadbury's. I hope Kraft don't mess around with Cadbury's. Uh, but, um, uh, I wonder what your thoughts are. Do you know where the concept of Easter eggs come from? Am I right in thinking that uh, Easter eggs are supposed to represent the boulder that was in the way of Jesus' tomb. And then, the Easter Bunny, what's that got to do with the biblical story of Easter? Well, maybe, no. uh, Easter tends to be a movable feast, it's dependent on uh, the, the lunar cycle. So, maybe, uh, the Easter Bunny, uh, no, the Easter Bunny Rabbit is in its mating season in the spring, and Easter always happens in the spring. So, maybe that's got something to do with it. Or, maybe let's be really ridiculous. Maybe it was the Easter Bunny who nudged the gigantic Easter egg 
out of the way of Jesus' tomb, allowing Jesus to go free in the middle of the night. Uh, well, no, that's not likely, but, uh, <laughs> uh, no. We really must find out what the Easter Bunny and Easter eggs have got to do with the resurrection of Jesus. Now, uh, what's Father Christmas got to do with the birth of Jesus? And it's clearly uh, someone hijacking the anniversary of Jesus' birth many years ago, saying, oh, I'm going to dress up as Father Christmas. And that then leads to people saying, ah, oh, Christmas Day, uh, never mind this old bloke being born thousands of years ago, Christmas Day is where I get presents, that's what it goes. That then uh, leads on to a culture of uh, a me, me, me culture, you know, rather than uh, people going to church on Easter Sunday to uh, 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 pray about the resurrection of Jesus and how he died on the cross for your sins, people are more likely to be interested in whether they've got uh, a Mars or a Kit Kat Easter egg and they might be worried as whether they're going to put on too much weight from eating such chocolate, which, as I say, might have nothing to do with Easter at all. Right, uh, very briefly, I think I've still got enough time to talk about digital television, digital switchover being completed here in Wales in around about 40 minutes now. Uh, the Wenvo transmitter over there is going to uh, switch off the analog signal. I don't know anyone here in class who uses analog game or actually, but I saw BBC One on analog earlier for the last time. Uh, I think the uh, digital picture is much better. But uh, I've blogged before about digital switchover. In particular, what I want to talk about is that tomorrow, 31st of March 2010, three of you are going to launch high definition channels here in the United Kingdom. They've been available on satellite, and uh, I think they've been available on satellite for the last few months. But then, what is the point? of high definition. I didn't ask for it. Did you ask for it? I do know that if I were to try and improve the picture resolution on this video and try and make it similar to high definition, then the computer will crash and the file will be too big to load up onto YouTube anyway. Well, uh, no, not exactly, no. What I load up tends to be 40 megabytes, but I know if I get the best picture quality will then be 500 megabytes of course there's a limit on how much you can stick on YouTube the maximum they allow is 10 gigabytes for one video and of course 10 gigabytes is uh, how much you tend to get on a USB flash drive so I don't know if make a video it's one USB flash drive with uh, but uh, what is the point of high definition television it's exactly no, some say it's a better picture quality but who cares about the picture quality? You know? You're only interested in what the person on the on the broadcast is saying, and uh, as long as there is no interference, then uh, it uh, doesn't matter how clear the picture is. Right. Now I'm going to leave you with uh, some stalking I have been doing recently. Some of you might think I am one big stalker. I'm not. I have Asperger's syndrome. I get into social misunderstandings, which lead to people turning against me, and then they accuse me of being a weirdo. Well, I'm not a weirdo, but uh, 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 they like to uh, come up with the name Stalker. I don't stalk people, but uh, I have been uh, stalking. Uh, no, what's, that? Oh, what's happening here? Oh, it's crashed. Oh.